and the SNY Invitational is back. The ninth year of the tournament brings together four premier teams, including Christ the King High School, and one player who left his home over 1,500 miles away to join his mother, who was already living in Brooklyn for five years, and hopefully join the legends of New York City basketball. Here's Taylor Rooks with more, presented by Metrics. Basically, I'm a leader. I play a leader role wherever I go because people look up to me. What can I say? I've always been the biggest guy. <laughs> At 6'11", Kofi Cockburn is hard to miss. Good job, Kofi. As a rising star at center for Christ the King basketball, the sophomore is not only finding his footing for the Royals, but in New York City. That's because less than two years ago, Cockburn was living in Jamaica. Basketball in New York City, you have more opportunities and everything like, say, make it to, say your goal is to make it to the NBA. Like if you come to New York City, that goal is easier to acquire. So basketball in Jamaica, like the development is good and everything, but coming to New York City, more doors were open for me. He's a big kid that smiled. The first time I saw him when he walked, was walking down the hill, I said to myself, you know, he's a big kid, but you can see that he's a kid that's like in awe of being in a school that has a campus and, and, and that, you know, it was a little different than where he was. After playing on the school's freshman team last season, Cockburn, who has been taking basketball seriously for only two and a half years, has seamlessly transitioned his game to the bigger stage for the powerhouse Royals. I think it was good that he made me play freshman because he helped me to adjust to the speed and everything. Hey, Coffee, move. Let's get some people open. It's been great, as you can see. Development and everything is just great. Like, they help you get better. They help you get to where you want to be. It's been, like, tremendous because I've never, I've never had a kid that has gotten so good in such a short period of time. Coffee, stay low. Good, good. His ability to catch the basketball and his footwork, you could tell that he didn't play that much. So once he started putting those things together, and, and, the, and the hardest thing I think for big guys is being able to catch the ball clean, and you can see that he does that very, very easily. I knew he was going to be, you know, a very good basketball player. I just, I'm just so surprised that he has taken such a short period of time that he's this good so quick. I think what I'm special about him, though, is when he's on the court, he works hard. He don't want to lose. Got that mindset just like me. And, you know, he's a really good player, and I see him going really far with basketball. The future is bright for Cockburn, who has already turned the heads of Division I programs, but he knows there is more to the game than just baskets. I just need to work on getting better over, as an overall player, being better as a leader, because coming up next year, coach is going to really depend on me to lead the team, so that's basically my, my goal right now. I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in New York City because my next leader is, is Coffee, and he doesn't need to score 50 points a game. You know, he just wants to be the leader. He wants to win. I want to see results, like, as, me, as I'm working harder, I, I look for results, so if I'm not seeing it, if you do today, tomorrow what you did today, you're gonna get tomorrow what you got today, so you gotta do something different to, in order to get better. I'm focused on getting better as a player and as a teammate. Christ the King takes the court Friday versus Mount Vernon at 8 p.m., and you can catch it right here on SMY. As part of SMY's community outreach program, Play Ball, each school in the Invitational received a $5,000 grant. In addition, Play Ball donates equipment, volunteers time, conducts clinics, provides youth programs with game tickets and dream day experiences.